Hey guys, I don't know if you, you probably can't even pick it up in the camera, but I'm halfway up a very, hi Lexi, halfway up a very steep hill. Lexi and I are in the Manistee National Forest and we're going to do a late winter overnight. Um, there's about a foot and a half of snow. I had to dig a, dig a parking spot for my truck. I didn't think I'd have to do that, so I'm running kind of late. Um, got my snowshoes. No, it's kind of like concrete, so I post hole, but Lexi can walk right on top of it, so it's good for her. So I got a bunch of maples over here and white pines over here. We're kind of going to, my plan is to camp in the white pines, but close to the maples for firewood. So we're going to continue up this hill. It gets, it goes up quite a ways, and then I think it drops down into a little valley. So we're going to see what's over there and have a camp. Well, there's still snow, so it's uh, not going to last too much longer. So, all right, trudging on. Oh, just schlepping along here. Uh, that, this is the North Country Trail that is right here. Um, and it goes way up, up, up that hill. Um, I'm just on a switchback right now. Who would have thought there was switchbacks in uh, lower Michigan, right? But, so we're not going that way. That goes up all into hardwoods and high hills and um, high hills equals wind. Although there's no wind now, but so over this way, uh, the pine forest continues and it kind of goes like that. So we're gonna go kind of traverse that slope right there and, and then see what is on the other side behind me. And then uh, we'll go from there. Found my spot finally. Uh, I had to search for a long while because it is very, very hilly here and it's not easy to find a spot. So, oh man, it's 3:30 now. I gotta start getting out here sooner. We're gonna set up kind of between these two trees here, and uh, yeah, we'll get get a move on. Whew. I am winded, but uh, we are kind of in a low area, so the cold air I think will settle down here, but. It's only supposed to be like 25 on the low tonight, and I got a zero degree bag, so no issues there. Um, and then there's wood for days around here. It's all maple, which is the best for camping. And uh, red pine forest right over here. So I think maybe I'll do fatwood shavings tonight. Let's see. So, all right, we gotta get a move on. Lexi's got a stick. It's a beautiful day out. It's so, so gorgeous. Um, yeah, we got a uh, warm front rolling in with freezing rain, rain tomorrow. So that's why I wanted to get out and enjoy one last winter hoorah. Now that I know where my tarp's gonna go, I can kind of dig this up a little bit and just level it. So I'm just gonna loosen the snow and then probably tamp it down. Um, so we're just loosening it and then to level it because it's already pretty much concrete. So I'm thinking it's gonna sleep fine. I just gotta get as level as possible. Lexi always has her sticks. Lexi, you gotta move. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. Let's stomp. You like being in the way, don't you? There you go. Go. It's 
So obviously it's not going to be completely level. And there is a little bit of a slope. So I think my head will be here. I'm going to be sleeping like this. Okay, I like it. So I'm using the Adirondack shelter that I like so much. Unfortunately, I have to use snow anchors because the snow is so deep. It takes a little longer than stakes, but oh well. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Out there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I got two ground sheets. Lexi's bestie blanket. Lexi's air mattress. A down bag for Lexi. A wool blanket for both of us. My zero degree bag. Nice big thermo rest pillow. My Neo Air X Lite. Such luxury. I am never going winter camping with a backpack again. All right. 4:30. We got to get wood. We got a new axe to use. Um. It's a. Plum, two and a quarter pound head that I uh, refinished, and it's on a 24 inch boys axe handle, and I added the lanyard hole in the lanyard. So, looking forward to trying this out. Made the sheath. I'm actually getting pretty good at my leather work. So. I actually did stitching on that one. Not bad, right? So, yeah. Found this in my dad's truck. And if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw it there. So, yeah, we're going to try this out. Vintage Plum Axe. Beautiful. And, of course, the Agua Canyon. Oh, this one's literally feet from my camp. And it's not, I don't have to cut it. I can just push it over. There's so many of these just lying around. Oh, I think I can push it over. Maybe not. There we go. It's a little damp, but it'll burn once we once we get an established fire. It's nice, nice and sharp.
Okay, this is all I'm gonna need. Oh. Oh, I had to take a break. I'm sweating to death. I don't know if you can see it, it's rolling off me. I had to shed a layer. Even though that wood was easy to get, it's still so much work. No wonder they invented the chainsaw. All right, so I'm gonna relax for a few minutes. And then we're gonna get a fire going. It's 5.30. That's it. That's probably way more than I need. Way more than I need. Oh my goodness. There's so much primo wood here though. Hard not to be a firewood glutton. See my camp all the way down there? All the way down there. I'm just up on this bluff here. Sunset's going down. I don't know if you can really see it. This is, uh, this is a really cool area. I like this. I like this area a lot. So many hills. So many hills. And check it out. Here's my hand for reference. Um, I think that's coyote. There's some urine right there. So you got one, two, three, four front pads and the triangular rear pad, and you can see the where the nails are. So I think that's coyote. That's a big one. Unless somebody had their dog up here, but I doubt it. Oh. So there's definitely some coyotes around here well they're everywhere so yeah love this love this little area glad I came check it out Lexi's way in the distance Come on girl, let's go back. 
I don't know if you can see like the ridge right here. So it drops down there. Sun setting. Drops down there. That's the flat that I'm camped in. And then this ridge just keeps going and then it actually goes up into some taller hills. Very cool back here. Very, very cool. All right, back to camp. Phase two. Okay, we've just got the basics. Um, asparagus, mushrooms, onions, some butter. Lexi's got a salmon filet. And sweet potato. No. Sit. And I've got a steak. With to go with the asparagus and potato and mushrooms. So, all right. Leave it. Okay, go ahead. Good girl. All right, guys. Eat. Mm. All right. See how the steak is. little after dinner buffalo trace oh got a wicked long fire going Lexi's laying down in the tarp in the shelter back there I bet it's oh man 
bet it's 50 degrees, 60 probably, in, inside that tarp right now. That's why Lexi's so comfy in there. Obviously it won't last all night, but... Man, I'm glad I came out and did this. <laughs> I'll be honest, I had my trepidations about it. Just because it was a new area. And I didn't know, didn't know anything about it. But it basically all I did was printed up a topo map and looked at Google, Google Earth to try to see if I could pick out pine forests. Because wintertime I like to carry camp in like pine forests if I can help it. Cuts down on the wind and gives you a little bit of greenery. And then the topo map I looked at to just kind of see where, you know, the valleys were, where it wasn't so hilly. This area is really hilly, really hilly. But yeah, really cool area. Oh. All right, guys, that's it. Going to bed. Threw a few more logs on just to give me something to fall asleep to. Uh, Lexi's zonked in there. She's done. And the sky is a absolutely gorgeous night out. The sky's completely opened up. Nothing but stars. And there's no moon. So they're all shining, shining so bright. There's no breeze whatsoever. So hopefully it stays all night long, but we'll see. But right now it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful out here right now. Alright, good night. Good morning guys. Slept great last night. Wind started picking up around midnight. So it's starting to blow. Still blowing now. Just pack up and get out, out of here. Forgot my coffee so pine needle tea it is. Which is good in its own right. Yeah, I had a really good time. I had a really good time. I learned a lot. I, uh, I've never camped in a completely new area that I've really never explored before. So that was new for me. Had a little bit of trepidation coming out here. 
not sure what to expect where I'd get to um, I've never camped with a pulk before that actually made it so much easier so much easier and the biggest thing is I've never camped uh, such deep snow before foot foot and a half it's always a few inches so never camped where I actually needed snowshoes so yeah that was fun I had a really 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 good time I uh, slept good once I fell asleep took a little while to fall asleep I was actually too hot laying there I had to wait till the fire fire died down to nothing before I was comfortable enough to sleep that's that shelter man that really really traps in the heat in there so. all right I'm gonna finish this and then we'll get up on out of here got about a mile walk back to the truck I think so not terrible all right I will catch you guys on the next one see ya